what's going on Joe? Jose spoke to you this morning in regards to me recording a short video for you showing you some simple steps on how exactly you can improve your online presence. Now before I dig into the video I'm just going to do a quick analysis of your website. That way we can use that as a guide to see the things we got to work on in order to improve your online presence and start generating more leads for your business. So first things first I just want to say you have a beautiful looking website super easy to navigate. However when it comes to being found on Google, it looks like you're not really quite generating any traffic. It's about uh, four per month, and that traffic is coming from um, keyword of key of your own brand name, which is good. However, we want to get found by new clients that don't know about your business. That way, you can keep getting more leads, more jobs. So, let's step back to your website. We'll go over this later. And there's many influential factors when it comes to ranking on Google, right? However, in this video, I'll be going over the three top most influential factors. And that first influential factor is content. So when it comes to ranking on Google, content is king. So normally in a com an area where there's some competition, we recommend for you to have around a thousand words of content on your homepage, which allows you to add keywords in your content without, without making it sound too, too unnatural or stuffing too many keywords, which Google does not like. So what exactly is a keyword? Well, a keyword is a popular phrase that people search on Google for services like yours. So for instance, you're from Sarasota, you service Sarasota. Um, there's many keywords that we can talk about, but I want to keep this video short and simple. We're, let's just stick to the keyword of free service Sarasota, which has an average search volume of 80 per month. And based on this data, if you target other keywords, you can have a traffic potential of 400, but that's including all the other keywords. But Besides that, let's go back to your website and how exactly are we going to get to your website to be ranking for those keywords. So like just like I mentioned, you got to make sure your titles are set up correctly with those keywords and making sure your content has the keywords implemented in it. So for instance, in, in, instead of saying, look for a professional tree service with Arbor's expertise, you can do like looking for a top rated tree service professional in Sarasota, etc. Make sure you have that search area in your title and try to make sure it's as close as you can to your to the target keyword that way when someone searches for that keyword it is relevant to your website and the more relevant the higher you rank on google another way of having those keywords in your content is saving your images on those keywords so let me click this right here click save as so yeah pretty good you have tree service here so that which is really good which is a, a good keyword to target however you need to improve on your on your content now let's go over Google real quick to see what happens when you search up the keyword of Tree Service Sarasota. The first thing you see is the sponsor section, which we'll go into. Next is the uh, Mass Tech section with another sponsor as well. And the other one is the organic listing. So, fun fact about this, 30% of searches on average tend to stay on the Mass Tech slash ad section and organic is about 70%. And the reason why that's important is because Ask yourself this, when was the last time you went on Google and went towards the second page, third page, fourth page, etc.? Probably never. And if you did, it was a very rare occurrence. So, with that being said, let me let's look into your top three competitors, Shorter Tree Service and AffordableTree.com, and see why they're ranking on the top two of Google and not you. So, first things first, as you can see, one of their titles, top titles are Affordable Tree Service, Tree Service, Sarasota County. Um, Looking in here for a bit. So you can see you have Sarasota County and Sarasota, Florida throughout their content. Sarasota, beautiful trees in Sarasota, and so on. You get the idea. Now let's see if their images are saved on those keywords. Yep, we're doing tree service Sarasota as well. Let's look at the other one real quick. So once again, commercial residential tree service in the Sarasota range and area. Um, they have Sarasota in your in their content as well, and so on. You get the idea. Let's see if they're saving their images as well in those keywords. Yep, they are. All right. So when it comes to ranking on Google. Content is king. However, it is not the only influential factor when it comes to ranking on Google. Backlinks is the next topic we'll be talking about. And let's go over to your profile. Where is it? Right here. So according to my tool, you have 3,000.3. So 3,300 backlinks coming from 487 websites. 
And right now, I can tell you right off the bat, that's not a good sign. That means you probably have a lot of spammy backlinks coming from some websites. And I'll explain why in just a second. You have four, you're ranking for 40 keywords, like I mentioned earlier, and only generating about four per month, which is your own brand name. So let me show you what a backlink is real quick. Let's um, click here. And you have a backlink coming from let's see, from this right here. And once I click on it, bam, it took me to your website. And the problem with this is that this backlink is not really that relevant to your website. It's about speech. And you want to make sure your backlinks are, backlinks are coming from web, relevant websites. And make sure they're high quality, not spam. So let's go over to your competitors real quick. So right off the bat, I can see that they have a better ranking than you. There are 36 million. You have 37 million, even though you have more backlinks. And this is why I always mention that always prioritize quality over quantity. Um, because having that much backlinks with that little domain domain can result in being spammy. So they're generating about 68 organic traffic per month from 54 keywords. Let's see. Their top keywords are Tree Search Sarasota, Tree Search Sarasota, Florida, Tree Removal Sarasota, Florida. You get the idea. The other one is AffordableTree.com. They have very poor backlinks. Actually, you, you have better backlinks than they do. However, their content has those keywords I'm talking about. So that's why they're beating that area. And let's see the keywords they're generating this amount of traffic for. So most of their searches are coming from their brand name, which is nothing to worry about. So looks like they're not really generating quite that much, but they are generating about anywhere from 45 to 60 tracks per month and just a few keywords from Sarasota. And there's, as you can see, there's way, way, way more that they're not really quite ranking for. All right, so the last topic we'll be talking about is citations. So how does that apply to this? So when it comes to ranking on Google Maps, there's many influential factors. However, the main one that helps you out the most is citation. And a citation is pretty much your business information on websites like Facebook, Yelp, and Craigslist, or other directories with your business name, business address, and business phone number. And the more citations you have, the higher the trust Google has for you. It is not the only influential factor, but it does help you a lot. Alrighty, I know I spoke really fast in this video and went over many things in this video. So I hope, Joe, you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out back out to me. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.